In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a very simple web app that locates an address using the ArcGIS geocoding service and the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. Now let's start by having a look at the service we're going to use. So here in the developer guide, I can go to location services, and then you see the variety of ArcGIS services I can use. So here in the geocoding service, um, I can learn all about the service, like the key features, the URL parameters, um, there's a lot of great information in here about the service itself. Now, a really great place to get started um, learning about the service or how to use it in your app is this geocoding topic. Um, it really just covers the basics of what's geocoding, how it works. Um, you see the request format, which I can copy and paste in my application. Um, and down here, you'll see there is a very basic code example. Now this video is based on this code example, so after the video, you can go here and check out that code and get started using it. All right, so let's start here. Um, it's a very, very simple web application. It's just simply showing the base map. Uh, so to do that, I've defined my API key. I've said that I want to use the light gray vector tile base map, and then I've defined my map view. And you might notice I've said snap to zoom is false. That's just because I want the continuous zoom as opposed to locking to different um, zoom levels. Okay, so let's get started geocoding. The first thing I'll want to do is reference the API's locator class. And uh, let's have a quick look in the documentation to see what that's all about. So here again in the developer guide, I can go to the JavaScript API and uh, the API reference, search for locator, and um, here I can see several things I can use the, the locator class for. For example, batch geocoding, um, a single line, or a single address to locations. That's what I'll be doing for the single geocode. Um, I could do reverse geocoding, so passing in a, lo a point location, for example, and getting back an address. So this is really just exposing and wrapping everything you can do in the ArcGIS service and making it easy for me to use it in my app. Um, so here, of course, I'm going to define the URL and the parameters just like we saw in the developer guide. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy the code in here and put it into my app. And let's look closely at what it's doing. So first, I'm defining the service URL um, that we saw earlier. I'm setting up my parameters. So this is the most very basic scenario where I'm just passing a single line geocode. Um, the address is all in one line. I can choose to split that out into various parameters to um, further constrain it. For example, um, specify the city and the country. Um, but the easiest is just to pass in the single line geocode. Um, so then after I've defined my parameters, I just call address to locations with the URL and the parameters, and then I get back an array of results. And that's because it's going to give me back uh, various candidates. The top candidate with the highest score will be the first one in the list. So what I'm going to do is simply just print that out in the console. I'll refresh it. And here we can see that we did get a result. So we've got an address, um, a location, and there's all kinds of information that came back that's essentially wrapping the result from the uh, geocoding service. Now, of course, I'm going to want to actually display the result on the map. So let's go back here, and I'm going to uh, need to reference the graphic module and the web style symbol. So let's go ahead and add that graphic, and then the web style symbol. Um, there's many, many different ways you can symbolize anything on your map. I'm just choosing to use the web style symbol because it's a really great, easy way to um, reference like a vector symbol. OK, so going to my code, let's copy and paste this here and replace the simple console log. And um, let's have a closer look. So here, I do view.when, and that's because I want to make sure that the map view has been created before I do things like adding graphics to it or zooming around. Um, so I wait for that to be done, and then I call my show result method. So show result is just taking the results that's coming back from the locator. I make sure that I actually got a result. I take the top one with the highest score. 
um, I'm creating a symbol and in this case it's just a simple star symbol that's the web style symbol um, I'm creating a graphic and then the location of the graphic is coming from that top result I define the attributes using the address and then I'm defining a pop-up template and this is really just saying what sort of content I want to display um, for that selected location so I will just say address for the title put the address in the content and then also um, reference the XY location for that result. I add that graphic to the view and then I'm using something called view.goto and I really love that method because um, you can pass in a variety of targets um, that you want to animate to. So for example, in our case, we're simply animating to the result from that geocode. But for example, I could um, perform a query and get a collection um, of features back from that query and then pass that to the target and it'll automatically zoom to the envelope um, of those results. So it's a really handy method that works in both 2D and 3D. Um, so in this case we're just zooming to that result, I'm setting the zoom level, and then once it's done zooming I'm going to open the pop-up in that location with the information I've defined. So I'm going to go ahead and save it and then rerun the application and then we should just see that result on the map. So there we go, there we do, and we see the star. One thing I wanted to mention is that you're not just limited to searching for an address. You could do a place search, for example, search for a point of interest such as Home Depot or Disneyland. Uh, you could also search for, for example, an intersection. And because it's a worldwide locator, um, I could search for an intersection in Spain, like uh, Balmes con Diagonal, which is in Barcelona. Um, I might also want to change the zoom level to be a little tighter for that intersection. Um, and so then if I refresh the map, it should find that intersection and then zoom to that location. This video was a simple demonstration and truly the tip of the iceberg in terms of what you can do with the ArcGIS geocoding service. And by using the ArcGIS API for JavaScript, you really have an easy way to access the full power and flexibility of the service. So I invite all of you to continue your learning and build great apps. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And feel free to leave any feedback or suggestions you have for future videos in the comments below. Thanks so much.